Welcome back to Omni Garage. So we've just gone out and bought CarPro's new Clarify Phobic glass cleaner. So this is just a traditional glass cleaner, but the whole idea is that it's got hydrophobic properties inside it. So you apply it just like your normal glass cleaner to the exterior of your glass only, and that the hydrophobic properties of this is supposed to allow nice water beading behavior on your windscreen onto your side glass so that you know ideally while you're driving down the road you get this nice water shedding off and hopefully to reduce the need to um, use your windscreen wiper so we're going to go over apply it to this windshield of this range rover over here and see what kind of results we get so this glass here is nice and clean and i'm going to spritz it on just like you would with your normal glass cleaner that you'd normally use oh straight away i can smell this is the uh, banana scent that the other CarPro Clarify product smells like. So they've obviously just used the same scent, which is quite nice. Banana smells a bit like those banana lollies. So the first wipe just feels like normal glass cleaning, but the second wipe, this is really slick. It feels really, really smooth. The towel's running across this very smoothly. So that's probably part of that hydrophobic properties coming into play there. So one of the things I've noticed is we're getting quite a lot of glass smearing. So you can see along this black area here where the, the mirror is, you can see that smearing across the, the glass there. And it is very hard to remove, even along here. So I, I just see it in the center of your windscreen there too, where you've kind of got to that point where you've reached. And it's really hard to remove. I can't sort of wipe that off. It sort of flashes. And then we get the smearing over the top of it. So, I mean, that's going to be super annoying because what you want is you want a glass cleaner that leaves the, the surface looking really clean and so that you can see right through it. You don't want to be looking at smears and there's nothing worse than having a nice clean car and these smear patches all over your, your windscreen. So, I mean, that is quite frustrating. I am going to apply it onto this side. I'm going to deal with it so that I can get some footage of the beating behavior. Ooh. The workability is hard. I think you're going to have to chase quite hard on this to try and flatten it out and get rid of that smeariness, which is interesting for what's been advertised as a streak-free. That is horrible. Cleaner. That is horrible. I had really high hopes for this because what I would like is that every time I wash the car, you know, once a week or once a fortnight, instead of having a glass coating on here, I would apply this product and it would be a product that you would apply to the exterior of your glass just like you would with your bead maker you know your, your sort of hydrophobic properties that you'd put onto the paint but onto the glass here with this product so that i got that nice water behavior and then i would probably not need to use a glass coating because we haven't found a glass coating that we like but that's smeariness that is terrible so far not good so there's just the other side of the smeariness so you'll be sitting in the passenger seat looking at that mess has anyone else had this problem or am I applying this wrong or have I done something wrong here because I've never used a glass cleaning product that has produced that much smear on there. I do like CarPro's new sprayers though. Yeah, Such an improvement from their others. They, um, they have a soft feel to them now and they don't feel like such cheap plastic. What I can see there is it flashes really quickly but I can see the product almost being moved from end to end as you're dragging that towel along. What I'm talking about is if I run the camera up here, you can sort of see. I can see where it's left. Like smear traces. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's advertised as streak free, but I feel like what we're seeing there is a tad. It's a bit of smeariness almost. I it's think almost like when you apply a bead maker and you get this like, yeah, I can see it running up here. There, just over right there. there. But I mean, if you the wipe down thing. on that and drag it to the bottom, I feel like that'll disappear, and it does. But you just moved. You've to the just new moved area. it to this spot here. I'm just got a clean towel here, just to see if we can flatten this out a bit further. I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. You remember the Rainex product that everyone used mm -hmm. to use? It's kind of like that. You've really got to work hard at trying to move, and I still haven't done it. I feel like that's a lot of effort. I mean, that is better, but there's still some smeariness to it that's been left behind. Anyway, so the scent's quite nice. It was pretty easy to apply. Super slick on the second wipe-off, but the smeariness is not ideal. 
we're going to have to drive for this for you know a wee while and we're going to see what the water behavior is like over the next couple of weeks and see if this product gets better or worse and we'll give you back come back and give you some feedback later on it has been about six weeks since applying this product to the windscreen so my initial thoughts is that when the car was wet and it was raining at about 50 to 60 kilometers onwards we got some pretty decent water behavior we got nice little droplets and they would run up the back of the windscreen and off to the sides when we we're driving I don't think that is the best water behavior we've seen now we have tried some um, glass coatings before they perform way better than this product but I think for a spray on the water behavior of this product is pretty decent now it lasted for about mm, three weeks sort of after three weeks it started to fail quite bad and definitely by week four there was virtually no water behavior left at all so we've tried this product on a couple of windscreens now this car a few others we had the same problem when we applied it it was very smeary very streaky very difficult to drive with and in fact actually the first time i applied this when i was driving out of here into the sun it was pretty dangerous wasn't it, it was real s sort of foggy in the windscreen you couldn't really see and driving into direct sunlight was absolutely horrible so applied it to another couple of cars same problem we tried it in the dry we tried it in like sunshine we tried it with a clean windscreen we tried it with one that had just been cleaned with glass cleaner we got the same result and we tried a couple of different application methods as well so you've seen us spray it directly on the windscreen we turned down the volume as well and tried you know three spritzes rather than six or seven and we also tried spraying it directly onto the towel and applying and we still encountered that smeariness where we were literally just wiping the product from one side of the screen to the other so where do we stand on this product? I really like the concept here. I really like the ability to have a glass coating and then to have a product that you could apply to the, to the glass coating to keep topping up that coating and keep that performance going well. The concept is fantastic and I think this is where we're going to see this product go eventually. However, CarPro here have made this product that's really streaky, really smeary to apply, and it's not something I'm really happy to keep going forward and using. It's a real shame. CarPro makes some fantastic products, but I think this has just fallen a little short of the mark. It's a real shame again because we've watched quite a lot of YouTubers and quite a lot of YouTube videos who have used this product, have applied it to windscreens and have got great results and seem from what I can see through the, the lens of the camera seem to be really raving about this product. Maybe we've got a bad batch, maybe we applied it incorrectly, maybe it's not quite working well with our windscreens here, I'm not sure but something's not quite right here. So if you have any ideas about why this hasn't worked so well in our applications, bearing in mind we have applied it to four different cars, kind of four different ways, then comment below, let us know why this probably hasn't worked in our situation because we're happy to try something out because i think the concept of this product could go a long way that's it from omni garage thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one